Hi, and welcome to Implementing Your Data Center Firewall, Part 3, Access Control Lists. My name is Josh Michaels. I'm a Solutions Developer for Security here at F5. I'm going to be taking you through it. We'll jump right into it. When dealing with a data center firewall, we obviously want to be able to implement a set of access control lists. The F5 Data Center Firewall has two forms of access control lists. We have a packet filter configuration, which is a global configuration and the utilization of iRules for a more narrow scope configuration. We'll start with packet filters. To enable packet filtering on your system, you simply go to Network, Packet Filters, and under the properties for packet filtering, select Enabled. Once enabled, click Update, and packet filtering has now been turned on for the unit. Next, we'll want to create traffic allowance rules. To do that, we go over to Packet Filters and Rules, and hit create in the top right hand. Here we'll see the options for a new packet filter rule. We give it a name, select its order in the list, determine its action, accept, discard, reject, or continue, determine which VLAN we want to apply it to, here we'll do the public internet, turn off or on logging, and finally our expression. We can utilize the build expression to have the F5 build our expression for us, but in our case, we know exactly what we want. We're simply going to enter expression text. For example, I'm going to set a packet filter to allow traffic from the 2.2.2 slash 24 network. To do so, source network 2.2.2.0 slash 24 and click finished. And we now have our first packet filter rule for allowing traffic through. Now that we have our allowing packet filter in place, let's go ahead and create a denying packet filter. Once again, hit create, put in a name, select the order, here we're going to put it last in our list, the action, reject, the VLAN we wish to apply it to, here, public internet, whether we wish logging, and again we'll enter the expression text. So for this packet filter, we'll deny traffic from the source net 3.3.3.0 slash 24. Click finished, and our packet filter is now in place. Now that we've implemented the global packet filters, let's take a look at application-specific access control lists. This is done via simple iRules. To put an iRule in place, we run over to local traffic, iRules, and simply hit create. Once in the iRules page, we'll start our configuration by giving it a name. We'll call it web app deny. And in the definition section, we'll begin our eye roll. When we accept a client connection, we want to evaluate it for some form. Here, we're going to evaluate to see if the client address is equal to 4.4.4.4. .4 if it is, we're going to discard that packet. Else, we're simply going to log a message in the local log of allowed traffic. Lastly, we'll close out our braces and click finished. Now that the eye roll has been created, we need to assign it to a virtual server. To do that, we go to Virtual Servers and Virtual Server List. Here we have a test virtual server that I've created. To assign an eye roll, we click on the virtual server name, click on Resources, and then underneath the eye roll section, click Manage. Once in the resource management for the eye rolls, simply find the eye roll we created and slide it over to the Enabled column. Click Finished and now the iRoll has been applied to the virtual server. And with that, we've just put in an application-specific access control list. For more information, I definitely highly recommend visiting devcentral.f5.com in our iRoll section and tutorial. Thanks for joining me, and if you have any questions, look me up on Dev Central, username Josh M. Have a great day.